Well, uh, without further ado, I would like to uh, bring up our special guest for the episode. Welcome, Nikki Sun! Please join us at the table! Come on! Sir, 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 Everywhere, okay. Can I bring you everywhere? It'll be like Monty Python. Here we go, girls in the his house. You're outnumbered here. Oh, I know. Wait, should Earl be in the middle so he looks like a Vogan pimp? Oh no! Hey, Asian girls. Excuse me, we're the ones in power. This is completely antithetical to reality. Oh my god. Um, just to let you, you mean know. mean antithetical? Yeah. Is okay. a, you said antithetical. You said antithetical. I don't know I, what I, antithetical Stop trying to act like you're smart. Earl. I'm just oh kidding. God. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> the blaze was we takes my blowers from all sides. <laughs> oh god. Okay. <laughs> Welcome, Nikki. Hi, Nikki. Yay. Thank you. Cool. Can we for say joining that, us. Uh, Jen and I actually watched a movie with Nikki last December with a mutual friend and right. didn't realize it was we the same We didn't realize girl. that, oh, you know, we were like trying were you to watching? research watched Shoplifters, Shoplifters, which is great. amazing. Yeah, with our, with, yeah. Oh, cool, 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 cool. Yeah, the Japanese movie. I remember oh, right, 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 right. you being there and you were wearing a dress and yeah. you were talking to all these boys. And I was like, <laughs> are you an actress? And she was like, yeah, I act. I was like, oh, you look like an actress. It's so funny because I don't act anymore, but yeah, oh. like it's such oh. a juxtaposition. Like I'm such a dude in real life. <laughs> I mean, like I talk. Text, She's got like <laughs> eyeshadow, <laughs> lip gloss on. Yeah. You have a really cool brushed. shirt. You have the coolest shirt ever. I, I love this shirt. Oh my gosh! Yay! Welcome. Oh yes. Oh hello. Um, yes. So, Nikki, where are you from originally? I'm originally from the Yay area. Right. Oh. And uh, oh, yeah. I moved down to Los Angeles six years ago on April Fool's Day. Really? Oh, heck yeah. Was there a meaning to that kidding. or it just kind of happened that way? No, it just happened that way, but everybody thought I was kidding too. So when I did, I was <laughs> oh. like, nice. <laughs> Joke's nice. On you. It's a joke. <laughs> yeah. What up, fools? Yeah. Oh, Wait, awesome. she's really driving away. <laughs> oh, hang on, hang on. <laughs> well, welcome. Thank you. Six years later. Yeah. Right, right, right. Seriously. We're glad to Amazing. have you here. Well, thank yes. you. We should have bought a cake. Too. Oh, no. We sh- should have oh. bought a cake so you could like. I mean, we missed the anniversary. You know. April Fools was last month. Ah, so. damn it. Okay. Yeah. Well, we can still have cake. Six point one anniversary. I love cake. <laughs> yeah, you don't have to have an excuse for cake. True. Exactly. The cake True. doesn't have need it. to be a lie. <laughs> but that's why I was singing cake. Oh my cake, gosh, cake, Portal. Cake. <laughs> <laughs> I love Portal. I can't believe I played Portal on a MacBook. Did, oh yeah, like you were just left saying that. And right clicks were just like touches. Wow. So imagine the confusion. Anyway. I couldn't even. <laughs> I was already confused with the controller. Jeez. And so what what uh what got you into uh entertainment? Oh uh, gosh, I back in the bay I was a producer for Mix TV, which okay. is like the Asian American version of BET, <gasps> using lifestyle and entertainment. I was a show producer there and then you know, brought a whole bunch of Asian American right. YouTubers and influencers to feel like they were a part of mainstream, right, for once. And then um, started my own channel, Now You Know, which I interview a lot of up and coming, aspiring Asian American and multi ethnic entertainers. Right. And um, after we all got let go from Mix because it's easier to pay for a show versus then hire a full house team, right? Right. Um, I was like, what do I do now? And I think I was like, I think it's time to move to L.A. Cause, nice. uh, wow. Yeah. And, but that took me three years to make that decision. So, yeah, six years ago, it took me a long time to get here. But now that I'm here, I'm, it's been a blast. Wait, you must have been really young when you got mixed up with <laughs> mixed TV. Yeah. I would say literally after college, I kind of, that was one of my first jobs. Okay. Yeah. Where'd you go? I went to UC Davis. UC Ooh. Davis? Yes, I've been in the Bay Area for a while. We're all UC kids here. That's yeah. right. We are. Yeah. Represent. Represent. Wait, from yeah. where? Uh, uh, Irvine. Irvine. Riverside. Santa Barbara. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 All so different ones. So we can all hate on UCLA no, UCLA. 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 You suck. You should have accepted wow. me. <laughs> ruh, ruh, ruh. I had a nice SAT score. Anyways, um, I'm not bitter at all. Um, <laughs> I didn't even apply to UCLA. <laughs> Good, because they suck. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Um, anyways, so you, you, how did you get into show producing? Um, I think it's just I've always been a one-woman band. I started off as a journalist reporter um, at UC Davis. There was a was that your major? 
Um, communication was. Okay. Broadcasting wasn't really a major there. I would have gone to SF State for broadcasting, but I wasn't exactly sure I wanted to go right into broadcasting. Uh-huh, uh-huh. But when I was um, a reporter at UC Davis, uh, I joined the Aggie TV, which is the student television right. station. Mm. And one of my stories on the protests ended up on CNN. Oh, cool. And, oh, which protest? Uh, the student tuition increase at for 32% increase on tuition and really oh, affected okay. a lot of like that was middle like class. Like I think I remember that. Six and or so? it, it dissolving like multi ethnic and right. you know um, studies. Okay. I remember um, that. So there was a huge, you know, peaceful protest, but yeah, it went it went online and, and that was the moment I realized that I could do something. You, you know certainly as a have student, yeah. You know, like right. I don't have to be like at a certain like Three letter <laughs> station in order for me to affect change, and I think yeah. that's mm-hmm. what really inspired me to like. I have a voice. Let me use it. Well, look Absolutely. where you are today. <laughs> that's awesome. On Pan Geekery, the top podcast in the nation. <laughs> My God, <laughs> streaming <laughs> How in the world. Hardworking and lucky she is. <laughs> Amazing. That's awesome. Uh, yeah. So you did that. Sorry, I'm like total. I'm like so curious. That I'm like taking go over. Ahead. No, 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 no. no. no I was just if you have something, absolutely. I don't. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, I have so, oh, oh, go ahead, Jen. Okay. Yeah. Um. So, like, we know that you are multidisciplinary as well. A couple of us do like a variety of things in the arts as well. And you know, like with people in the arts who do multiple avenues, like writing, producing, mm. acting, directing, all those hats. Um, what do you find like inspires you when you feel like you're in a creative rut? Ooh. Ooh. You know, that's a great question too, because I think when I've noticed lately when I'm at networking events, people are always asking, what do you do? And yeah. it's really right. hard to say what I do without feeling like it's a cliche or, or them like, being like, oh, so she's not really good at any of them. <laughs> yeah. She's just disillusioned. She doesn't know what she wants to do. Yeah, but yeah. I've, ha- I've been fascinating. <laughs> so I, I've gotten to the point where I just say I'm a host and filmmaker because filmmaker encompasses hosting, directing, producing, yeah. editing, mm-hmm. you know, all that stuff. Mm. And it just helps me kind of consolidate yes. everything. But when I'm in a creative rut, really, it is um, just really supporting people <laughs> of, in my community. It really has inspired me when I am in a rut to just go out, support, you know, a friend who is performing at a show or maybe a friend's film that just, you know, launched. You're supporting. You're also being able to interact and you're also able to get inspired by, wow, you created that. Like, I want to create, too. <clears throat> it was just like, for me, in American Idol, I used to grow up singing uh, country music, and oh. I would stop singing, but when I would watch American Idol, I'd see other people sing, I'm like, oh, they're going for their dreams, I kind of <laughs> want to do it now. So it's kind of like right. that. It inspires you, it motivates you. Um, and then also go outside and, you know, get away from the computer screen every now and then, too. And social media, too, is like a huge thing, you know. It's mm-hmm. like, you can't live with it, but you can't live without it. But I'm learning these days to really kind of start living without it. I try, but... Ooh, wow. But, so you only yeah. check Instagram Brave. every other hour. Yes, every other That's hour. That's genius. Yeah. That's amazing. <laughs> Holy crap. Impossible. Like no, self-control. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, kind of like push whoa. versus fetch. Yeah. Like, <laughs> in, in iPhone. Wait, so, okay. So I checked out your IMDb, did a little stalking. I'm just kidding. No, I checked out your IMDb. It says you're an actor, an editor, a director, a cinematographer, a writer, a host, a batwoman, <laughs> uh, a vigilante. Like, yeah. what? Don't, and you're a singer? Yeah. Well, so, it was so funny that you said Batwoman. I literally posted something today uh, saying that I was Batwoman because I just souped up my car by installing LED lights what? into it. And it's like red and black. And I'm like, so yes. you're like a car techie <laughs> I'm person. a tech head for sure. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. How did you get into that? Yeah. I know. <laughs> yeah. Badass. Yeah. Overall. Star talk. How did you get into tech? Culture. Yeah, well, I mean, growing up in the Bay and also growing up being the person that would be the in-house person to, like, fix an LCD screen or, like, connect a computer when it wasn't working in classrooms. Mm-hmm. I always was fascinated with taking things apart and putting things back together. Um, but the moment I moved down here, literally the day after I had an interview with Google for the Google Glass team. Nice. You, I know you mentioned that earlier. Right. And um, I got the job. 
And I came down for entertainment, but then that happened, and I always wanted to be like, I want to tell my parents that I worked at Google or worked in tech. You know, <laughs> no, that's awesome. How I Asian at least tried, right now. <laughs> <laughs> Look no. at me. You must be very patient doing all that troubleshooting like yeah. back home. Yeah. No, oh, yeah. I, love, I love figuring out how things work, though. I think yeah. that's just in right. life. Like, you guys, that's, that's so great. sexy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Understanding yeah. the, how scheme of this works. the system. By what? Science. <laughs> By what mechanism <laughs> does this operate? <laughs> and then I took it apart and, and looked I put on it the back inside. Together. And you know, like my hype women, I just bring <laughs> them everywhere I go. They come as a package, them. apparently. Yeah. Yeah. You know, it's I great. could use the money. <laughs> We're like basically joined at the hip, yeah. Caitlin and I, so. Uh, you want to join in on this? <laughs> <laughs> so we have a question from uh, chat. What is your favorite country music song? Ooh. Oh, anything by Shania Twain. <gasps> Shania Twain. Wow. Can you uh, Twain. Sample? Sample. 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 Oh, my God. Just a little something. Mm -hmm. 10 seconds, 20 seconds. Let's oh go. Oh, my God. Mm -hmm. This is like you're putting me on the spot here. <laughs> Just go for it. Go I for wasn't it. even yes. warmed up yet. Let me drink out of this top Jimmy podcast in the nation. <laughs> Your fan base will skyrocket, girl. <laughs> yeah, let's oh yeah. Okay, this one was um, Any man of mine better be proud of me. Even when I'm ugly, you still better love me. And I can be late for a date, that's fine. But you better be on time. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Are you Very cool. <laughs> So yeah. I, I just got back from Stagecoach too, so that oh, was nice. interesting. Going with my friends, it's like an unassuming Asian person at a Stagecoach. That was just always you get so a lot of that reminds me of Yellow right. Rose, which was the opening yeah. night. Yeah, oh, yeah. Right, Yellow right, Rose. Right. There. And yeah, me I too. Like, I was in the front row. I should have brought my cowboy hat and boots because I should've. literally just got back from Stagecoach and went yeah. to LAPFF, and I was like, "Oh my god, Asian girls Dale singing Watson. country yeah. music! Yeah. <laughs> Asian girls singing country! Yeah. Like, oh, I feel so seen!" No. <laughs> girl, you 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 slacked on that yeah. one. That should have been you. <laughs> that <laughs> should have been you. Congrats to her on her two Tony yeah. nominations. She's amazing. amazing. I gotta watch. Wow, this. So I know. Her acting is she's never even been in a short film because her first she's film. So yeah. good. Everybody has been talking about the last couple of weeks. Yeah. Um, well, that was great. Uh, so <laughs> I want to know, so you started a YouTube channel. When mm -hmm. was that? That was back in college days, too, because we had a lot of YouTubers come to the campus, but not a lot of people knew who they were unless you were Asian. So or, this you know. is when YouTube kind of just first started. Yeah, it kind of just gotcha. started, too. And then okay. I was like, you know, I, I'm a news reporter, but no one wants to put this on the channel. And mm -hmm. I wanted to live somewhere. And on top of that, I don't like cutting people's words because I feel like news has a way of just kind of, you know, cutting it down to the 30 seconds that could make or break you. Right. And I wanted people to feel comfortable in sharing their story yeah. and providing a platform that, you know, I'm not Oprah or Ellen, but at least I am interested in my people and, like, the culture and the community I'm trying to create. Right. And that was a very huge thing for me. Um, so mm -hmm. that helped me connect with a lot of Asian American organizations, a lot of multimedia, and just saying that I am a woman, I'm a woman of color, and this is what I stand for and represent. And I think it's something that's in this day and age right now is something that's wanted. Mm -hmm. Cool. Um, Absolutely. Yes. So just yeah. finally. That. Yeah. <laughs> it's like in now to be diverse. Yes. It's, it's like fun to be in. Nikki Sun. <laughs> <laughs> you wish you were this. So uh, yeah. I saw your uh, not a phase. interview with Sharon Lee. Oh, Shannon Lee. I'm yeah. Sh Sharon. Oh, gosh. Sharon gosh, Lee I'm Earl. Get out. <laughs> Go John Cr Lee. <laughs> <laughs> leave, leave, I don't know. Sharon Lee anymore. Today is just not Girl, it's like my day. You know, Star Wars. Yeah. I know. <laughs> Why I miss my bus. <laughs> yeah. I lose my phone. Like, oh, my God. I guess by not getting her facts straight. I know. Yeah. Mm -mm. Hey, it's only because this breakdown is incorrect, by the way. <laughs> oh, just, my God. Just it's throwing, the producer's fault. Yeah. Yo. I'm going to... I can't change it. Uh, so that's, that is super, super embarrassing. Um, <laughs> Shannon Lee, because like I'm such a big Bruce Lee fan. Oh my yes, god! Yes. But how was I was going to say that that it was an awesome interview. I mean, oh, what you. did that feel like? I was, yeah, I, you know, watching it through the whole thing. Right. Um, my dad passed away, mm. um, and in his columbarium there is a, a Bruce Lee bobblehead because that's how oh. much mm. like Bruce Lee impacted him. Right. Wow. And so for me to actually get to share that story with uh, Shannon meant so mm. much. Aww. And that's even amazing. after this, you know, for me, when I interview people, we're at this point where we're like friends, you know, right. it's hard to have like a 30 minute conversation or interview with someone for someone you don't know or mm -hmm. are inspired Absolutely. by. And so I'm very 
proud and happy to say that after that interview, like Shannon and I are like really good friends. And that's, wow. that's so you know, awesome. And it's oh one of those things where she gifted me like the the Bruce Lee jacket I wore today, and I wear it what? everywhere I go because it just means so much to me. And I think um, connecting with her and being able to say, I know you're Bruce Lee's daughter, but you're so much more than Bruce Lee's daughter. Yeah. To feel like mm -hmm. that's your adjective and your yeah. like right. description everywhere you go. Like yeah. it's yeah. like you're a queen in your own right. Absolutely. And I think that's for me when I interview people, I. I'm very genuine and authentic with why I want to interview them, and I think that's how that interview came to happen. Right. Um, but just really also awesome. talking about yeah. filmmaking and her stepping into the role of, you know, mm -hmm. protecting her father's, you know, words and craft and mm -hmm. legacy and really pushing for a script that was hidden 50 years ago and yeah. bringing it back to life. That was such a cool, like, moment just to actually yeah. see his actual handwriting. And right. I'm like, whoa, this is, like, a legend in the making. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, my God, this is amazing. So. What, when when did that interview take place? That <clears> interview, I think <throat> that happened in, uh, might have been late April. April? I think it was late April. It was definitely of this after year. Back. Of this year. Oh wow! Yeah. Yeah. Congrats. Thank you. And it was. Yeah. Uh, we also talked about Warriors, so I know that's a hot topic. Yeah, hey. right. yeah absolutely. So, yeah. yeah. I haven't had a chance to catch it yet, but like I'm, I'm champing at the bit to get to it. Like, yeah, champing yeah. at the bit. Chomping yeah. at the bit. Chomping, chomping. It is, it's champing. 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 I think it's, it's champing. champing. It's champing. Champing. Yep. It's oh. champing. Oh, yeah. interesting. I got one right. <laughs> <laughs> You only get like, one. Yeah. All right, yeah. Chaos. Sit down, Chaos. Right, Chaos. Right, right. Chaos, I know. Uh, wait, can we talk a second about filmmaking? Yeah. Right. I heard you're a fantastic Asian woman filmmaker <coughs> Aww, in the hisans. So what are your pro what are your past projects, current projects? Tell us your background. Sure. So I just recently launched a tech channel catered to the filmmaking and video production community in Women's History Month. I've gone to many convention trade shows as one of the few women who get to speak and have access to a mic. And I want to provide more access and accessibility for women and people of color to really get into the filmmaking world and have the access and support that they need. So I started a channel. Um, I launch a video every Thursday. It's anything from three awesome audio setups under $250 for your next video production. That's freaking hey. awesome. To like an interview on the latest tech product <clears throat> that came out of NAB. Um, so it's like that kind. And also I want to be able to highlight an interview of female filmmakers on my channel. Mm -hmm. So I know okay. I do a lot of interviews with Asian Americans on my other channel but on this channel I really want to focus like maybe it's lighting tips or mm. you know how to direct with director Patty Lee who was the first Asian woman of color inducted to the ASC mm. and oh. you know all that stuff and I love filmmaking I love actually operating the camera mm. um, I think a lot of times when I was on set sometimes people would be like are you an actor or are you a hair and makeup artist and I'm like no I'm the director or right. I'm the Get the mic drop. Yeah. I know. or I'm the editor Get in my place. so it's one of those things that it takes time it takes progress but i've been uh, surrounded by a lot of female filmmaker groups mm -hmm. and times up aapi and we just really want to create that change and kind of disrupt the four percent challenge that less than four percent of filmmakers or dps and directors are women and right. then more, even that. more so i'm surprised it's even color. that much yeah yeah, yeah 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 even that much yeah it's like women and then also women of color mm -hmm. it takes up even less of that what percentage so. of asian female directors and dps do you think are out there in hollywood oh my gosh it's like 0 0.1 or so, uh, yeah, 0. I would say it's like yeah. it's less than two percent yeah, yeah for sure because i would say Kusama. less than four oh, yeah. percent are Karen women Kusama. yeah mm -hmm. and then less than four percent are women of color mm -hmm. yeah so Jeez. yeah it, there is yeah. like a disparity there and i'm hoping that my channel could at least, you know, affect some kind of change or if not, at least give highlight and shine to <clears throat> women who are really changing the game. And I'm a huge person that empowered women empower other women. Right. I think mm -hmm. society pits us against each other so much already mm -hmm. that I just want to celebrate and highlight the feats that these amazing women are doing and mm -hmm. they deserve shine. Really. They Absolutely. really deserve shine. Yeah. Amen to that. <laughs> Let's all snap <laughs> to that. Let's all snap I can snap to that forever. That. Yeah. Wow. Oh, yeah, oh, what is yeah. your channel? So my name is Nikki, and my channel is called Tech Nikki Speaking. <laughs> <laughs> nice, <laughs> very nice. How do you how do you spell your Nikki? Um, it's N I C K I, and thank you for asking. Mm -hmm. Please cool. do not go to nikkisun.com spelt any other way. <laughs> oh, because there that's a porn star, guys. <laughs> a porn star. If, if it says, are Nikki. you eighteen or older? <laughs> 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 wow, that's wow. not me. <laughs> Or is it? I, know. <laughs> I, I always joke around 
joke you around. Be old she's enough. Norwegian though, so you can't oh, get us confused. Oh. She's Norwegian. I know. She's Norwegian. She's Norwegian. She's a little My different. Name for her. <laughs> her last name's Sun. Wow. I know. As if you didn't look her up, Earl. As if you didn't look her up. I absolutely. Her mountainous bosom. I actually did not know this. I if guess like, you can call her a filmmaker and a oh, right side to support. Oh, we gotta you know. support her She's other got Nikki son. But I would, support, I would yeah. openly admit Nick. to that if I had known, but I <laughs> did not. So, you know. Girl, go home, you were not innocent. <laughs> yeah. Right. yeah. Oh my goodness. That's great. It's a yeah. totally yeah. different type of filmmaker. Yeah, it's a different yeah. type yeah. of different, filmmaker. Different we both do entertainment. Right? What, just what type, Rodney? <laughs> hey, but like, you know, hats off to female right. like, yes. sex workers, adult, empowerment, uh, adult, adult film filmmakers. stars, and yes. filmmakers. Yes. Yes. You know, there is. <laughs> We're, we're veering into a different territory. But there is a <laughs> feminist, we appreciate you. There is feminist porn out there. Yeah. Yes. Erica Lust. Don't ask me how I know that. We um, learned about it in yeah. class. Oh, yeah, I learned about it in class yeah. too. I'm yeah. putting that in the show notes. <laughs> <laughs> Next week on Fan Geek Creek. I got a, I got a, uh, a YouTube uh, link in the chat and I'm kind of scared to click it. <laughs> It's the other Nikki. It's the other Nikki going <laughs> like, hey, yo, like, just as long as you don't look at me weird, then this fight. Oh I'm like, that wasn't me. <laughs> oh my God. Well, uh, okay, so so you're doing intensive filmmaking. Can you tell us about your current project right now? Yes, mm. so I'm actually producing and casting director for my first uh, short pilot film. It's oh, you. Yeah, that's Cast all my <laughs> short <laughs> pilot film? Yeah, I guess we'll say, well, short form. In terms of SAG after terms, yeah. and then it is oh, right. a pilot spec oh, okay. for TV show. Yeah, for gotcha. film okay. festivals, and hopefully mm. gets pitched to networks. Gotcha. But okay, it's really exciting. We have an all diverse women team, and very. I'm very intentional, so I'm actually looking right now for a female sound mixer and gaffer. Oh, sound, I know. I was like, she's gonna ask <laughs> for something else. <laughs> PAs, and I'm very intentional. I would like to reach out to the women filmmakers first and give them mm. the opportunity. I have very amazing male ally friends who. You can totally do the job right but that's kind of been the standard for everything like we mm. have it's easy access right but you sometimes need to work just a little bit harder yeah, yeah. to reach out to those people same thing right. when you're yeah. casting asian americans for film like mm -hmm. oh they just didn't try hard enough you say that there wasn't enough people but you didn't try hard right. enough Did and i really yeah. look the emphasis know. is not right. to look though yeah. you know so now we are putting an emphasis on like there are talented mm -hmm. actors of color out there yeah. You Let's just need go. to find them. We need them. to target right. them. We Absolutely. need to target them. Yeah. yeah. Um, can I like join your? Can I join your forces? Your Kalasar. Your Kalasar. Kalisi. Meet you. She's like Michael. My Misa right now. Kalisi. Yeah. Kalisi. 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 Don't get it. Yeah, because like right now you're like Asian Daenerys in my mind oh, right now, maybe. and I'm like, can I be your camp follower? Can I? I yeah. love, I've always been the mother of cameras. <laughs> <laughs> so, yes, yeah. you should have a T-shirt. Yeah, yeah. 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 I have always been the mother of cameras. The car is that shit. Well, That's my so my, lo my tagline is I got you in front and from behind, so I oh. realized it can be like a sexual innuendo. I was gonna say that's for the other Nikki side. But right. at the same time, I kind of like that you don't know what I really do. I like nice, that. Nice. I like that. Makes you wanna do that, but I'm actually. Uh, working with a female woman of color uh, logo designer too for technically speaking because I literally cool. just launched and I feel like mm. now it's that time to really create a cool logo that really amplifies Get what the I glow do. up? Yeah. yeah. Awesome. Glow, glow up. Awesome. Glow, glow up on the flow up. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, uh, when I was in high school I watched a nudes a news nude. <laughs> I watched some nudes. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> a news <laughs> segment. By Erica Lust. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. No, I watched a news segment on television mm -hmm. saying that the vast majority of film directors out there are male. Mm -hmm. yeah. And at the time, I remember thinking, well, that means I can't do it mm -hmm. because I'm a girl. Right. Yeah. And I'm a girl of color. I, mm -hmm. I'm not smart enough or capable enough or intelligent or talented enough to do something mm -hmm. like that. Uh, so for years, I didn't even think about going into Neither filming. are half those dudes, honestly. So. Yo, I And yet they have the audacity to right, try. Exactly. Sometimes I play yeah. this game with myself. I think, yeah. what would a mediocre white man do? Yep. I do and the answer it, yeah. is always, yes, go for it. Just yeah. do it. <laughs> Just do it. Just do it. That's like Honestly, uh, Jenny yeah. Yang's thing. Give me the confidence of a mediocre white yeah. man. Yeah. yeah. What's up, Jenny? Yeah. Shout out. Hey, Jenny. But Just no, so I yeah, agree company. with that, yeah, you know? yeah. and that's the thing. I hope this channel, if anything, mm -hmm. shows me holding gear, shows me editing, doing yeah. things. I think more women and young girls and just people saw mm -hmm. that that 
they would feel like it's capable, it's doable. Well, who, right. Did course, you have influences yeah. growing up? Like, who inspired you to do this? Be um, so bold and audacious. Yeah. I think, well, I think when I was doing a hosting and reporting, a lot of my editors at the time were male, and I wanted to learn how to edit my own stories. I didn't mm. like my words being edited a certain way. Mm. And also, right. it was like I didn't want... Uh, like my piece to fall in the hands of a guy felt a type of way about me mm-hmm. you know it's like oh because mm-hmm. people catch feels if you're like working until like 6 a.m in the morning <laughs> like doing all this stuff right? catch feels <laughs> i don't catch what? feelings i, I get it. it what are you talking I about I I get it. <laughs> yeah. but you know i never wanted to feel like something hindered me from doing something so yeah. i'm like i gotta yeah. learn how to do it i gotta learn how to yes. shoot i gotta learn how to edit i gotta learn how to do all my stuff Snaps. and mm-hmm. doing Snaps. that and just being in the areas that i'm at um, it's more like I'm collecting my fellow female yeah, so community. Yeah. 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 Creating yeah. a community and being like, I got you. If you need a videographer, I got you. If you need an editor, I got you. Like, if you don't feel comfortable with certain someone X, Y, and Z on your team, I got you. Mm-hmm. And that's kind of like the community I want to build. That's, I'm just that's like, awesome. What is, what is <laughs> over here saying? I'm like, I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my yeah, God. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, we're all getting hot and heavy over yeah. here. <laughs> <laughs> it's because the AC is off. Nikki son. No, no. <laughs> Caution, wet floor. (laughs) Let's get a mop over here. Um, So, what can you tell us? Hot in here. (laughs) (laughs) We did turn the AC off, though. We did. Um, So, Nikki, what is your new spec about? Yeah, I was going to ask, what's the show about? Oh, it's actually a friend's like personal project, but it's about this couple who go, who is married, and they go on a break. And everything oh. that ensues in that, and it's oh. a is it a comedy cast. drama? A comedy. Oh, okay, mm-hmm. yeah. Cool. And we have seventeen roles. Wow, wow. And so I was looking through all the casting. I'm like, wow, this is what it's like to be on the other side. Because I did acting for a little yeah. bit. Yeah, I yeah, acting yeah. for a little bit. Right. And then I was like, realized how much a control I like. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I like being able to, you know, have control. Yeah, um, no real. It, sorry. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you gotta see that real. Like, you see what stands out yeah. now if people mm-hmm. write little notes, or mm-hmm. you know, if people have a weird headshot or some. But Where's your slate shot? Yeah. I'm just like, I'm not hiring. It's not a two for one deal, you know? Right. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. So I don't know. It's been interesting the process being on the other end of, mm. of it. But Exciting. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. So so you didn't write it, but you're producing it, right? Yeah, I'm producing it. And okay, you're in pre production cool. now, or? Yeah, we're f- we shoot um, June 7th through the 9th. Oh, cool. Yeah. So you're also in pre production yeah. hell. Yeah. Yeah. I'm there with you, sister. <laughs> I'm in pre production for a lot of things. I have my yeah. hand in a lot of hats, and I also own my own <clears> media company. So it's. Uh, between managing the two channels for a tech ch- my tech channel and my Now You Know show, I'm producing a film, and then I'm hosting the 3AF show awards this Thursday. And on my free time, I help freelance video shoot, edit for other people. Mm. You're yeah. living the dream. And, uh, <laughs> your, your media April Fool's joke, my ass. <laughs> <laughs> She's yeah. killing it, y'all. Yeah, yeah. This is all plot. Yeah. Um, and your media yeah. company is called Nikki Sun Media? Yep, it's just Nikki Sun Media. Cool. And yeah, no, I think I just Marie kondo my entire life. Hey! You know? yeah. And <laughs> so ever since, you know, quitting my full-time job of three years and even relationships and mm-hmm. like my apartment, like I literally went cold turkey. Like I literally Marie kondo wow. everything. Wow. And nice. it has been such a huge difference in knowing what I want putting mm-hmm. a plan into action and mm-hmm. just going for it. Oh my gosh. And I used to take forever to make decisions. Yeah. But literally, I like t- uh, two weeks ago, I walked into the car dealership and like, I bought a car <gasps> like right wow. there. And I installed lights in my car yesterday. And I was like, I would never have done this like s- even last month. What are you rolling in? Oh, I got my new Scion. I am. Oh, so. Wow. I didn't know they still made Scion. Yeah, I know. But I like oh. the fact that you can't get it again. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, that's so awesome. Yeah. I so love So you just Scion. woke up and you're yeah. like, I'm going to buy a car. Yeah. And you got the skirt lights? Is that what you got? Or? No, I installed the uh, LED lights from Type S Auto. So it's uh, app controlled smart so it can change. Oh. Wait, are they like colored? RGB? Yeah, that's the post I just posted today, and I was like, you, "Well, now you can call me Batwoman." Yeah, because <laughs> right. I am an all black everything kind of person. Murdered out with a little bit of color, so not right, all right. black everything with a little bit of color. Nice, yeah. nice. holy shit! Oh, I, so I, 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 we have to okay. wrap up this mm-hmm. section. Damn. Okay, but um, that was awesome. That was inspirational, and wow! Like, can I we ask one more? Yeah, question? yeah, absolutely. Like in ten years, where do you want to be? Gosh, I never know. I'm like, what am I doing tomorrow? Um, uh-huh. But no, I really would love to be able to own, own and operate and 
have my own studio production company, like a physical location, mm-hmm. right. and be able to provide opportunities for filmmakers, women, people of color, really want to champion those changes and, you know, walk the walk and talk the talk. Mm-hmm. But it would be a dream to do that and direct, like, you know, something that's maybe Emmy worthy. I, I feel like I've done mm-hmm. things that, you know, I don't think I deserve accolades or anything. We have this imposter syndrome sometimes. Yep. Yes. You know, like, oh, I'm not good enough or whatever. But I'm like, if I don't do it, some other mediocre white man. <laughs> 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 so I should it's true, though. say should yes do yeah. and do it and then prove. Because that's the only way we can do it, right? You know, yeah. we yeah. need to, like, feel confident and do it. Um, mm. Otherwise, we just pass up opportunities all the time. But yeah. I really want to also provide opportunities, too. Like, I'm very much a champion of change, and I want to be able to you know, break the wheel. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Break the wheel. So can me and Jen join your be club? In your, yeah. Absolutely. Oh my God. I'm I'll, so I'll be excited. Your- I'll be an actor and everything. I can I, play a tree. I can play a rock. I I'll, can I'll do everything. any kind of collaboration yeah. or work uh-huh. or slavery, yeah. servitude. <laughs> so, wow. She's really willing you to have my sword. Herself, you guys. We call that an internship. Oh, <laughs> well, hey, she's a really ex. good coffee bitch. Just yeah. Medi- uh, oh Walter God, in the chat says mediocre for the win. <laughs> mediocre for the win. That is that's a very Walter thing to say, Walter. Indeed. <laughs> Indeed. Wow, this is okay. great. Yeah, well, thank you so thank much. Thank you so much for being so here. Much. And I so wish I could great. contribute to your Game of Thrones, but I have no. not caught no, 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 no. It's fine. We don't want to mess yeah, it up for you. Fine, yeah, yeah, yeah. Girl, I would fine. never want to mess up. Yeah, yeah let's not yeah. mess this, up yeah. that. Yeah. This, yeah, for yeah. this thing. Best seasons yeah. of them all. <laughs> Best seasons. Seven and eight. Ever. Yeah. I've been avoiding the chat. Uh, how far are you? How far uh, back? I just finished epi- uh, season six yesterday. That's what I mean. Oh. Like, that's like oh. the best oh. seasons, so. seven and eight. Well, I wish you luck on wish your you journey. Luck on that journey. Yeah. <laughs> the worst is yet to come. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, th- thank you, Nikki. Um, yeah, thank you all. As we say goodbye to Nikki, we're going to go into a quick break. We're going to show you guys Ooh. some videos. Some videos from a um, a recent uh, kind of cooking show we did with Chef Ralph Degala um, and a uh, Game of Thrones themed dinner that we uh, helped all help prepare from a couple weeks ago. So Yay. enjoy that. And we'll be back in about five. I got to use the bathroom. Or ten no. in ten. <laughs> okay. okay. Bye. Bye. Bye for now. Wow. And oh we're on break. Oh my gosh. You're so cool. cool.